Hello everybody, what is up? This is PG Zuka from Phased Gaming and TGN bringing you some team deathmatch on Hanoi with the AK-74U Grip. Today I am going to be bringing you guys some tips on how to create a class for rushing with a submachine gun. So, pretty much, obviously when you're rushing, you're going to want a submachine gun because it is the lightest and most mobile gun. So when you're rushing, there's really two types of rushing that you can do. One being just straight bull rushing the opponent, running right at them and outgunning them. And that requires a little bit more skill and a little bit less tactic. The other method being f tactically flanking your opponent and getting behind them so you can pretty much kill them without them knowing where you are. That takes less gun skill but more tactics. So first off, I'm going to be talking about the bull rush class. So what you're gonna want, you can pick any submachine gun you want really. Preferably I would go with the MP5K or the AK-74U. And once you pick that, then you're gonna want to pick an attachment. So for me, I would always use extended mags, grip, or rapid fire. Personally, I would usually go with extended mags because it gives you the edge when you're facing multiple opponents and you are shooting at them and then you kill one you're gonna wanna move on to the next one without having to stop and reload if you don't have extended mags then most times you're not gonna be able to kill multiple opponents without reloading because you just don't have enough ammo to do so and that could get you killed because you just run out of ammo when you're shooting at them so once you picked your attachment for your gun you're gonna wanna pick some perks starting off with the blue perk I think it's essential you use lightweight when rushing. It just makes you faster and quicker, which is the number one most important thing of rushing. You have to be fast. So, definitely lightweight for the blue perk. Moving on to the red perk, I would usually go a sleight of hand. It just makes your reload faster, and it's really important because if you're in the middle of a gunfight with multiple opponents, you want to be able to sort of just duck under the window, reload quickly, pop back out and finish them off. You don't want to have to stop to reload and have your opponent lose all of their damage that was done to them by your bullets before you reload because that would just be terrible and you'd have to pretty much kill them all over again which would waste a lot more ammo and time. If you're in the middle of a gunfight, you usually won't have that time. So, sleight of hand is really good, and I would use that for the red perk. And then, for your green perk, I would just go with marathon. It's also just makes you faster and quicker. You can get to your location faster, and that's the most important thing about bull rushing. You want to get to where you're going as fast as possible and before your opponent can get there. For example, if you're playing an objective based game like Search and Destroy, you want to rush the bomb as fast as possible. You don't want to have to keep pressing the sprint button and stopping and having to do that. That slows you down a lot. So it's almost essential to use Marathon for bull rushing. Okay, now for your other class, your stealth class, it's going to be a little bit different. So you're going to start off choosing the gun. It'll probably be the same gun. Just choose whatever submachine gun you're most comfortable with and you perform best with. Me, personally, as I said before, is the AK-74 and the MP5K. So, for the attachments, I would go with the silencer, because if you're going to be playing tactically and trying to get behind the opponents, then you're not going to want them to know when you, where you are. And when you're shooting, and if you don't have a silencer, that gives away your location. So, for me, I would definitely go with silencer, because you're not going to need that extra ammo to finish someone off if you're behind them. You're going to be able to kill them no matter what. And you'll have the time to reload because the enemies won't know your location. So after that, you're going to want to pick your perks. And I would pick lightweight because you need to be fast. I would pick sleight of hand because you also need to be able to reload qu quite fast because it's important not to have to take up a lot of time every reload. And lastly, for your green perk, I would go with Ninja, because if your opponents are using Turtle Beaches to listen to their opponents, they're going to be able to hear you without it, so you're going to want to be stealthy and not use it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is PG Zuka from Phased Gaming, and I'm out.